Okay, in this problem, we have a box moving up a wall, being pushed at an angle, but it's moving at a constant velocity, so we know all of our forces have to equal. We're asked to solve for this applied force in terms of the mass of the box, the friction coefficient, and the angle. So if I draw my force diagram here, I see I've got the weight of earth on box down, I've got friction from the wall on the box, I've got a normal force from the wall on the box, and I've got this applied force, which I can break down into F sine theta and F cosine theta. So next up, we want to look at X's and Y's separately. So in the X direction, we've only got these two forces here. So know that the normal force has to equal F cosine theta. That's going to come in handy later. So now let's look at the Y portion. Let's get another color for Y here. In the Y direction, we know that our downward forces have to be equal to our upward force. So we're going to say friction plus weight equals F sine theta. So now we've got F in variables we all know. So we can push these together to make it work. So how much is the force of friction? Friction we know is mu times the normal force, and the weight is just mass times gravity, and then F is what we're looking for, sine theta. So those have to be equal. Now we know the normal force we just solved for here, so we can say mu equals, not equals, mu times F cosine theta times mg equals F sine theta. Now, we can just rearrange this. I've got a F cosine theta. That's a plus sign in there. Left that out. Plus because okay, we're adding those two together. So now we need to get our F's all on one side. A mu times F cosine theta minus F sine theta equals negative mg. Now I need to bring out my F's, so it's F times mu cosine theta minus sine theta, just distribute that out, we get that, equals negative mg. So then force is equal to, bring this over to the other side, mu cosine theta minus sine theta. And that is what you can use to find the force in this type of problem.